Good evening and welcome to Four Corners. I'm Tom Gleeson. Last year, Four Corners aired an expose on live baiting in greyhound racing, winning a Walkley in the process and prompting New South Wales Premier Mike Baird to ban the entire industry in July of this year. Three months later, Baird did a backflip and rolled back the ban. Baird, if you're going to do a backflip, do it properly. Go the whole way. Bring back live baiting. <laughs> so tonight, I ask the questions. Can live baiting be brought back? Can I get a gold Walkley? Tom Gleeson reports. The Four Corners hatchet job sent shockwaves through the greyhound industry, but it ignored the pro-live baiting voice. So it is time to bring some balance to the issue. When it comes down to it, we're worried about the welfare of a rabbit. And I don't like rabbits. They're a pest. I mean, who cares if one gets savaged by a greyhound every now and then? Uh, this uh, was raised by some of our participants at the time of the live baiting uh, scandal. But of course, as a sport, as an industry, we know that the greyhound does not need that sort of motivation to run fast. We need to understand that it's not OK to, to inflict any sort of cruelty, harm, stress or pain on any sentient animal. OK, what about if you meet me halfway? Instead of a rabbit, we use a rat. <laughs> How about a cane toad? In Queensland, you step on them. Even in Queensland, uh, they won't be interested in going near that. One, it's still sentient. Two, they're toxic and you'd probably kill your greyhounds. Oh, they might just hallucinate for a bit. That wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> wouldn't you like to watch that? A whole I think bunch of greyhounds, be, like off their nut, <laughs> wandering around the paddock like they're at a festival. That'd be good. <laughs> After putting my Walkley winning arguments to the experts, I needed to immerse myself deeper into the industry. There you go. Thanks, mate, very much. And trackside, I discovered one clear impact of the ban. I reckon the dogs aren't as fast as they used to be now that live baiting's stopped. Times are quicker, actually. The time, right. Times in Sandown have been quicker. Yeah. There is no evidence to show in that live baiting makes any difference to how fast the animals run or not. So you're saying like live baiting doesn't even make the dogs faster anyway? No. Race times aside, same again. The truth is, live baiting has always been the heart and soul and half chewed insides of greyhound racing. Go, you little dislicker! The ban was crippling a proud industry. As CEO of RSPCA Victoria, do you feel banned for ruining the great sport of greyhound racing? No. In a word, at the end of the day, there's still racing almost every day of this year for greyhounds. I don't think the industry has suffered a whole lot at all. Come on! Shit. After the Four Corners live baiting expose, did profits go down the toilet? No, not at all. Uh, the industry continued uh, pretty much unaffected in that sense. I'd say the industry's stronger for it. Yeah? Yeah. The gambling turnover and attendance at the events has not really changed either here in Victoria or elsewhere around Australia. So profits were the same? Profits were more or less the same. I'll have another go. At least punters all around the world can still enjoy this noble sport. Well, in fact, you know, it's, it's not that much in, enjoyed around the world. 39 states in America have banned it. The whole sport? Gone. It's also in decline in the UK. Oh. So the only place in the world where it's growing is Australia? Pretty much. So we're the only ones who still know how to enjoy ourselves. <laughs> Through pretty uncompromising journalism, I learned that while the rest of the world may be turning its back on greyhound racing, thankfully the Australian industry is thriving. With Mike Baird rolling back the ban in New South Wales, my courageous one-man struggle to bring back live baiting continues. I'm Tom Gleeson. Now give me that bloody Walkley.